Okay, everybody, well, found the source of the turbo failure. It's exactly what I suspected it was. My turbo feed line, oil feed line here. This little weird spot. I can't see in there well enough to see what it is, but when I start the engine, I can see the line pressure up. But even with it disconnected from the turbo, nothing comes out of the end. So there's something in this line internally that has collapsed or failed or something that's not letting oil get through it. So I'm gonna go get a new feed line made up at Cauliflower. There's one about a half hour from my house. I'll get a new one made up, uh, something better quality this time. And my new turbo will hopefully be here by the time I get back so I can get this thing stuck back together. All right. We went to cauliflower, got ourselves a new turbo oil feed line. A male person dropped off our new turbo. Looks to be the right one. There's gaskets in here somewhere too. There they are. Got our new gaskets. So, now I need to get the old turbo off and get this one put in its place. just barely so I'll probably keep this one for spare parts or maybe even get it rebuilt I don't know what a bearing and seals would cost for it but let's try to get this turbo set up just like this turbo all right we've got all our parts brought over from the old turbo to the new turbo we've got our new gasket uh, the compressor housing isn't tightened down yet, just so that'll help me get it adjusted to just where it needs to be once it's in the truck. Uh, so let's go get this thing put back in place where it belongs. Okay, I realized before I actually put the turbo back in place, I want to get the oil feed line put in place and I want to get it filled with oil. Uh, the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to install it and just start the engine for a few seconds. Now it's, my oil feed is hidden back behind the intake manifold. So it's a little tricky for me to get it on there, but I really don't feel like pulling the manifold. I'm just putting a little liquid Teflon around the threads on this end because this is a pipe threaded end. So, see if I can't get this thing finagled in the position back here. Wow, that actually went about a thousand percent easier than I expected it to. Woo! All right, I'm gonna keep working on this. I'll bring you back when it's done. Got my oil feed line nice and tight. I'm just gonna put this end down here in this plastic cup, start the truck up for a few seconds, let it pump oil through just to make sure I have good unrestricted flow, and then I should be good. That's more like it. 
my cup's about halfway full just from that little bit. That means I've got good flow, plenty of oil coming out of there. Hopefully that means we won't have any more turbo problems. Here we go. Boy, that thing is heavy. Okay, so I got my new gasket. That right there in place. I'm gonna grab the anti-seize real quick. Okay. So we'll dab a little anti-seize on these studs. Now we should be able to slip our turbo in the position here, hopefully. There we go. Not too shabby. Let's get these nuts on there. Okay, we got one nut in place holding it on there. Uh, I'm gonna put you on a time lapse and get this thing all put back together. All right, we've got everything back where it goes. Turbo's all bolted in, oil feed, oil return. Uh, I've got everything that could possibly be ingested into this turbo pulled and moved out of the way and secured. So I'm gonna run it without the air filter a little bit just to see how everything looks, make sure it's spinning like it should be. So let's start this thing up and cross our fingers, huh? Okay, here we go. Starting it up with the replacement turbo. We know we're getting oil through that supply line, so. There we go, doing oil pressure. Yeah. Spinning nicely. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got our fixed transmission in the truck. We've got our replacement turbo and better new turbo oil supply line in the truck. We're gonna take this thing out for a ride here and hopefully we're gonna come back with it in the same condition as when we left, but maybe even tuned in a little bit better. Cross your fingers for me. This thing hasn't left the house yet without coming back broken in some way, shape, or form. First stop, let's go get some gas. Feels 
thousand percent better. It actually feels like it's working the way it should be now. Oh. All right. Stop my log there. Let's get some gas. Man, all right, everybody. I'm calling it for the evening. I am pumped. We had a killer day. We got the, the replacement turbo put on. We got this thing out on the road. The transmission is working exactly how it's supposed to be working. The turbo is working exactly how it's supposed to be working. I feel confident in saying that all we have left now is to get this thing tuned in, get it running just how I want, get all of the power curve nice and smooth, and then we'll really be ready to go out and uh, probably take some friends and family for a ride in this thing. And I think they're gonna be impressed. So, thanks so much for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. It helps the channel out as well and I sincerely appreciate every one of you that's already done so. But, enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.